Imagine a 73-year-old woman, her hair white with wisdom, her steps determined. This is Matangini Hazra. In 1942, during the Quit India movement, Hazra led a procession towards the Tamluk police station in West Bengal, her hands firmly clutching the Indian flag. As she marched, she chanted Vanda Mataram, the hymn of the motherland. Defying the orders to halt, she continued forward, even as the police fired shots. Hazra was struck but unfazed. She kept advancing, holding the flag high until a bullet silenced her forever. Matangini Hazra's martyrdom remains a profound symbol of bravery and sacrifice. Deep in the forests of Andhra Pradesh, a different battle raged under the leadership of Aluri Sitarama Raju. Known for his charismatic leadership and strategic acumen, Raju orchestrated a guerrilla war against the oppressive British forces in the early 1920s. Mobilizing the tribal communities, he employed the dense forests as his fortress, launching unexpected attacks that baffled the British. Raju's campaign was not just a fight against colonial rule, but a testament to his visionary leadership and profound connection with his people. Moving to the rugged terrains of Maharashtra, another revolutionary spirit was stirring. Vasudev Balwant Patke, often considered the father of the armed struggle for India's independence, rose against the injustices of the British Raj in the late 1870s. Fadke organized peasants and farmers into a formidable force, advocating for a Swaraj, self-rule. His actions ignited a spark of resistance across the region, setting the stage for a nationwide call for independence. In the picturesque hills of Meghalaya, Utirot Singh, a Khasi chief, stood firm against British annexation. In 1829, when the British sought to take control of the Khasi lands for their strategic and resource value, Tiro Singh led a fierce resistance. Utilizing guerrilla tactics and intimate knowledge of the terrain, his campaign lasted four years, inspiring a legacy of resistance against colonial exploitation among the indigenous communities. In the lush landscapes of Nagaland, Rani Gaidinliu, a Naga spiritual and political leader, emerged as a beacon of hope. At just 13, she rallied her people against British rule, driven by a vision of a sovereign Naga nation. Throughout her life, Gaidin Liu fought tirelessly, enduring imprisonment and hardship, yet her spirit remained unbroken. Her leadership not only fueled the fight for independence, but also championed the cause of preserving Naga heritage and identity. From the unwavering resolve of Matangini Hazra, to the strategic brilliance of Aluri Sitarama Raju, from the revolutionary zeal of Vasudev Balwant Fadke to the indomitable defiance of Utirot Singh and the persistent courage of Rani Gaidin Liu. These leaders exemplified the diverse facets of India's struggle for freedom, each in their unique way, shaped the course of India's fight against colonial rule, their legacies forever etched in the annals of time as symbols of valor, leadership, and the unyielding desire for sovereignty. In the echoes of their sacrifices, we find the enduring spirit of a nation's quest for freedom and justice.